What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'll be your host. And, uh... uh I kind of like Ulamog here. Uh, so, we end up getting, like, green decks with no payoff, or sneak attack decks with no payoff. And I kind of just want to take this Ulamog, because, like, I want to get those payoffs. Ashiok is cool, but I'm going to be honest with you, I have no desire to... I, I don't like playing the same deck back-to-back, -back, even if it kind of presents itself with, like, a first-pick Ashiok. So, one of the steps we do have... I'm going to take this guy. Okay, Jace the Mind Sculptor and Oko. Hmm, okay. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm going to take Oko, because... I mean, wow, these, this is phenomenal. This is, like, two of, two of the best cards. Two of the best... These are like the legit two best planeswalkers ever, right? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Oko. If we end up green blue, I'm very much okay with it, and we should be able to cast the little mog, so. What can you do? Lotus Cobra, Codus Lobra, as the kids say. Um Tezzeret's cool, but not where we want to be. I'm just gonna take the Codus Lobra, I guess. Maybe? Hmm. Could also take Verdant Catacomb. And then you know what? Then we're in Sultai. Oh my god, if it isn't Matthew himself. Matthew Riley. Hmm. Do we have any stipulations that, that, uh, that take these creatures into account? I don't know. Let's look. Uh, draft stink attack, overkill, mono green ramp kill with crater hoof. Uh, no card restrictions. Have fun. Don't let nobody touch your spaghetti. You know what? Oh, stay true to the Sultai brood. Draft Sultai and have fun. Okay, I'm gonna do that one. This is a Kyers stipulation, actually, and uh, Kyers is actually in the chat. Perfect. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna take this Thief of Sanity because. That's what I would want to do. Hmm, other Ulamog. Oh, what up, other Ulamog? I like Nissa. Nissa just gets you a forest. I also like Blooming Marsh. Blood Chief's Thirst, again, always impresses me. I think I'm going to take the Blooming Marsh, though, because I think I'd rather have good fixing in a three-color deck. These are a few of my favorite things. Wow, Leovold and a Treachery in the same pack. I'm going to take the Leovold. Okay, we can take the Treachery. But Leovold is a card that when we hit um, the Time Twister or the Time Spiral, it just gets so much better. I like Lumbering Falls, but I'm going to take Overgrown Tomb here. Because we can get it with a Verdant Catacomb. And that's important. And you know, sometimes you pass a Treachery and you just you just pick up a Control Magic instead. Which is not exactly the same. But still good. Still good. Still good. I actually kind of like... I like Commit to Memory a lot. Especially Memory with Leovold. So... Yeah, that's what we're doing. I kind of like Sakura Tri-Builder here. I think Hissing Quagmire is great. But his, uh, this is a nice two-drop. And it lets us fix our mana for whatever our three drop might be. I'm going to take Stone Cold Serpent here. Also, both of these are very good with channel. We can make a 1919 Stone Cold Serpent and just kill them with it. That seems kind of cool. Thank you. Bradford, thank you for the for the resub. I really appreciate it, buddy. I actually like the way this deck looks a lot right now. I like the mana too. It's like four mana. X mana. Four, six, or ten mana. Eleven mana. So the converted mana cost in this is ten. This is eleven. 
So this means they're like, well, Stone Cold Serpent's always going to be a, uh, a nine. I wonder if the only reason this is below these two is because it's a single digit. But this guy's 11. That doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense. I'm all confused. I wanted this Nissa, and then the Nissa came back. Yorion? Mirari's Wake, huh? Okay. I mean, I mean, that was actually pretty good. Why is the expansion explosion between the Blooming Marsh and the Overground Tomb? That's kind of weird, right? What's the deal with that? Uh, Ancient Tomb is probably not great for us. I do like Nissa a lot. I like Regrowth a lot. Regrowth also gets significantly better the more uh, the better your deck is, basically. I think we're more of a Regrowth deck than we are a Nissa deck. But then again, we have Ulog and Stone Cold Serpent. So, am I lying? I don't know. Maybe that's a lie. I think Nissa's. I think Nissa's just good. I think we're gonna have to take the Nissa. Demonic Tutor, Primeval Titan. Hmm. Well, Kyers, we definitely picked the right colors, my dude. Regrowth is like a tutor, but for dirt. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zombub. Oh, God, really? We're taking Demonic Tutor over Primeval Titan, though? Probably. I think we are. I think we are. I think we are. We are. We did it. It's done. It's really working out so good. It's hard to choose which great. It's really, I agree, I agree with you. I like Draga Tree Speaker, but it's not great in like a three color deck. It's fine. It's fine in a three color deck. I want a Citic Slime though, because this is just a card I. <laughs> That's it. That's the Dilio. Oh, Casualties of War. That's a banger. Yeah, I think we're taking Casualties here. We don't have any six drops yet. Cultivate's cool and all, but... You ever cast a Casualties of War? Ooh, Oracle of Moldiah? This deck is value. This is the most value town I've ever seen. I'm gonna take, uh... I'm gonna take a Oracle of Moldiah. Tinker. We're not tinkering, unfortunately. It just it might be Botanical Sanctum. I really hate Blooming Marsh and Botanical Sanctum. But having both of the green ones when we have Channel is actually pretty good. Because they're both going to come into play untapped. Impulse is Impulse. Plus, like, all three of these. Like, arguably some of the best plays in our deck are Oko, Leovold, Thief of Sanity. And all, all three of these, you know, assuming we get, like, Dark Slick Shores, let us play these cards. I want to take Impulse. This deck... <laughs> okay. Okay. Okie dokie. That's wild. Oh my god, can you imagine if like the, um, if the Primeval Titan came back? <sighs> Blightsteel Colossus when we get Channel, man. Oh man, that taquito slapped. <laughs> Kerwin, I'm glad to hear it, buddy. I'm gonna take the blight steel. I think the upside. What if the tinker does wheel? That would be wild. Are we a skull clamp deck? Not really. Eh, we'll still take it. Trigon Predator is a thing. Eh, it's fine. Unis Prowler, whatever. Oh my god, Tinker. Tinker one time. No tinker. I mean, still, it's a... We have channel, so whatever. Plus, this guy's indestructible. Did you guys know that? Wild. 
We have not opened any power whatsoever. Disappointing. Dig through time is fine. I also love some fixing lands. This pack is not great for our first. Uh, Corsair of Kerfix is actually pretty good. I think it's probably better to dig through time here. Scarab God is great. Bayou is great. Time Twister with Leovold is pretty good. This is also a four drop, so we can put it over there with the four drops. I mean, I also like Bayou a lot. Bayou might come back. Yeah, I'm going to take Twister. Like, you don't draft Leovold and not take Twister, right? Golos. Super Fritz every Golos thing. We don't have efficient ways to activate Golos. Yet. I'm going to take Golos. I think it's just strong. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, boy. Do I pass Crater Huff for Simic Signet? I actually like Signet better in this deck. We have a lot of a black green lands and not a lot of blue green fixing. Plus, I just don't think we're a, a Signet deck. Anime dead. What do you do? Nothing much, actually. Let's just take Ponder. Let's move this. You can go there. You can go there. You can go, you can go there. Where are all the elves? If you don't take Signet, I will shit you in the face. Shoot you in the face on general principle. I said, buddy, I will shoot you in the face. And then his girlfriend's there, and she's all, Chuck, Chuck. What movie is that? Name that movie. I dare you to name it. The movie. I'm going to take Guild of Blood. It is Reservoir Dogs. I knew you'd know it. <laughs> Goose Gang. That, it was, yeah, it's the movie Goose Gang. Also a Quentin Tarantino film. Inkwell Shut up happened. and take my money. Oh, something's happening. Crater Hoof, donate a dollar. You'll rue the day you passed Crater Hoof. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we don't have any way to splash red. I think we're just taking Ophiomancer. I don't like Stone Coil. Get out of here. Get out of here. We can take Masakre Worm. I, we can take a Signet, too, but I'm not super excited about Signet. Actually, it's not terrible with um. Golos. This is the best quote. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Jules, you give that fucking Nimrod $1,500, I'm going to shoot him on general principle. Oh, Thragtusk came back. Katie would be pleased. I'll take Thraggy Boy. Dryad came back? Guys, you know how good Dryad is when you have Golos? The answer is pretty good. Choops came back. I like a Choops. Okay, now our deck is looking... I mean, it was looking good before, I guess. <laughs> now it's still looking good. Hi, <laughs> you just destroyed my really bad Esper deck in your last job. Jerry Rice, what up? I guess we'll take Zealous Conscripts. We don't have anything higher than Blightsteel, right? Blightsteel and Ulamog are still fine for channel. This guy, indestructible too? Man, so much indestructibility. Jerry, you were a great wide receiver. <laughs> People appreciate your work, Jerry. <sighs> sure, I'll take a Basalt model of Pelucranos. All right, we need three cuts. Oh, God, it feels like so many cuts. Okay, you're a four drop. I feel like we could take out control magic because it's the only double blue card we have and it would make our mana base a little easier. Do you like those chupa chips? Lolly chupa chups? I think they're chupa chups. And they all right. 
I don't hate him if that's what you're asking. Also, I forgot we had Skull Clamp. Otherwise, I might have taken Ophiomancer a little higher. Literally every time I get Leovold down and I cast Time Twister, they kill Leovold in response. It's not great. I wonder if we can tweak this to be a Yorion deck. We have Ravenous Chupacabra, Golos, Acidic Slime, Nissa, Goose, and that's probably going to be it. Yeah, I think you should probably start the Weekend at Mutual script tonight. You know, just to be safe. Okay, let's cut Control Magic. Just for the double blue consideration. We have Dryad and Corsair and Oracle. I like Dryad because it does turn on our Golos pretty pretty significantly. I'm tempted to just take out like Ponder or Impulse. Maybe we take out Impulse actually. Because like we have Demonic Tutor, we have Regrowth, we have Oko, Leovold. Like we have a ton of. Um, Oracle is kind of a better Corsair, yeah, but Corsair's got a great body as a 2 4. And the life is not entirely irrelevant. We could probably cut casualties of war, to be honest. Like, there's a lot of times where you're just not hitting enough things. This was. I think they put this in a different cube recently. No, I never want to cut Regrowth. Regrowth is great at getting, like, your best cards back. Like, if they kill Golos, you get Golos back. If they kill um, Oko, you get Oko back. Like, I think if your cards are good enough in, in the in your deck, like, Regrowth is just significantly good. I think we can cut Corsair or Dryad. <laughs> Corsair has such a beautiful body. I was trying to fucking say it in such a way where, like, it didn't sound like that, but, eh, it didn't work. Jesus. I think I'm going to cut casualties. Like, I like the flexibility of Stone Coil Serpent. I do wish we got more lands. I wish that Bayou came back, but... So now, like, the only double blue card we have is the second half of Commit to Memory. I had to Google Corsair. Dan's is like, I want to see what the Corsair looks like. I want to see how pretty this is. And it was beautiful. God, Verdant Catacomb can't even get us a blue source, which is pretty pretty meh. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6. This seems fine. It's 5, 8, 13. Yep, that'll do. All right, let's see if this is any good. Corsair is a <laughs> What is this conversation we're having? It's uncomfortable for everybody. Makes my loins all frothy. Centaurs, man, I tell ya. Whew, I didn't know that's what Alexiers was into. Dan's, if you guys have been together for as long as you have and you didn't know that, it's that's a little unsettling. It's really weird when, you're, when your significant other comes out, you know, after a, a s certain period of time and then they just tell you, hey man, I'm into centaurs. Huh. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but we can actually Demonic Tutor for Channel and then turn three Blightsteel, I think. Hmm. 
So we're going to have to, let's play it this way instead, actually, because now we don't need to split our mana up between Demonic Tutor and, because uh, like there would be no way to do it. Okay, that's even better, I guess. Um, so we can go like this. Use Demonic Tutor. Go get Chanel. Chanel. You think they, you think they do it? Do you think they let this resolve? Okay, your move. The green red deck having an answer against Blightsteel seems unlikely. There's a ring of fire. Okay, <laughs> that's fucking. Demonic Tuner and Channel. Seems good. They literally didn't cast a spell that game, so, you know. Seems good for us, I guess. Do you think Oko and Corsair would date IR? <laughs> oh, God. I mean, maybe. This is a second turn Leovold or a second turn Thief or a second turn Channel, depending on what we draw. This is pretty good. <laughs> Dan's with the hard hitting questions. <laughs> oh, Lord. So Oko makes elk, but let's not confuse that. I haven't played in big circles, but uh, I do know your name. I hope you don't channel me. <laughs> no promises, but I understand the fear. I hope you don't channel me again. Please don't channel me again. Leo doesn't seem great. Leo seems great against every deck, buddy. Oh, that's rude. See, that makes me just want to channel you now. Okay, that's pretty good, though. I couldn't if I tried. Oh, a, a Codus Lobra. Oh god, it's gonna be Ulamog. Stone Coil. How big can we make a Stone Coil Serpent? I don't know. Probably not big enough, right? Frank, when Corsair hits the battlefield, can you play the Fantar the Fantano thick soundbite? Yeah, for sure, dude. I got you. Okay, I'm gonna actually let's ponder first. Oh god, we're so fucking smart. We're so fucking smart, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Oh boy. The love we take is equal to the love we make. Oh, we're just. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're so fucking smart. Oh dear. So. <laughs> Oh, we have a good time. 
let's ponder before we decide what to do. Man, channel both games. Remember he said don't channel me again and then I channeled him? God. There's no justice in the world, you know? <laughs> like, you played one spell in the two games. I, I, it's not great. Feels Batman. It was like Lotus Cobra, and I was like, Ulmog. And they were like, that's a cool story, bro. And I was like, thanks, bro. Okay, we can go get a overgrown tomb. Tan's definitely a little slower. I mean, we could top deck channel into into Willamog. That seems good. Mold to that big, beautiful horse body. God, you guys are getting fucking weird. Let me see your horse body. Don't look at it. Don't look at my horse body. Detoot Leo and Twist. We don't even have detoots. Oh boy. It's all happening. Actually, nothing happened. Pretty, 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 pretty good. If we don't even have D tooths. Oh boy. Well. Oh, come on. I don't have this card in my cube. Let's twist again. Like with no creatures? You're going to play Jitte with no creatures? Oh, we're going to goose? I like it. That card rules, though. Really fun build arounds. I have a really good time, but I also like drafting Storm. My definition of fun is how much I can have and how little my opponent can have. I did just channel my first round opponent twice. But psychologically, there's something different about like denying your opponent resources in a resource game. Like that feels like you're not playing the game. If I if I channel Ulamog and they kill the Ulamog, like it's still fine. But like psychologically, it's a different feeling. You could have got channel into twist Ulamog. That's true. They only have three cards in hand, so. Watch him get kill the goose. Watch him kill the goose. They killed the goose. They took four to kill the goose? This is wild, man.
Even if they kill this guy, we draw a card and we just regrow them back. Sounds good. And they go down to one card if they kill Leovold. We go up to six. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the dream, I guess. So I'm probably just going to play Nyssa, then go regrowth Leovold. Um, okay, I don't really care about that. I mean, they're going to equip Jitte and probably kill the Nissa, which is fine. It's not super exciting. We just get to acidic, 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 acidic slime. We get to acidic slime the Jitte, so that's fine. Have you seen the body on Ulamog? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a certain level of discomfort I have talking about all these these creatures' bodies. Okay, that's interesting. Alternatively, we can actually commit to memory the stupid the stupid raptor boy. <laughs> I don't even want to read this. Oh god. Interesting. I'm really tempted to just keep commits memory up and and putting this dude into the. Yeah, I think I like that better actually. To be fair, I am not the one talking about sexy centaurs. Let's be clear, guys. Yeah, not blocking. Goodbye, little dinosaur man. Put your body in your library. Not in your hand. Don't counter my spell with your cryptic command. Oh boy. Fencer. Manage rain. That's that's something, man. I know they. I know they couldn't cryptic. It was just. It, it just rhymed in the song, guys. Come on. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, you guys are freaking critics over here. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, you got it. What are they doing? Gaining two life? Oh no, killing us. I was like, what are they doing? What's happening right now? Okay, see that guy's good. Two, three, four, five. They have no cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five.
Nissa doesn't really do anything. Maybe she does. Actually, fuck, the Jitte is really problematic. But... Yeah, alright, you know what? Because we can actually crack the food and gain life. Uh, we cannot chew, but we have one, one swamp. Otherwise, I would chew immediately because I would get this off the board, but... Singing this will be the day that might be done. Oh, it's true. We can't with the frosted on. You're right. I mean, on the bright side, these guys don't uh, come into play, so we don't actually have to... I mean, the biggest problem is that Ferocidon... Oh, interesting. Okay, now Ferocidon. I was going to say Ferocidon can kill Nissa, but now it cannot. Sure, that's fine. Because now if we get to untap with Nissa, it's very, very good. And they have to really rely on the top deck here. Remember that time Mike B. pooped your pants? I don't think Mike B. pooped my pants. That would be weird. Okay, hit another island. Got it. Got it. Love it. Uh, okay. That is a bold strategy. I imagine they're going to attack Nyssa and then kill this, but they... Okay, sure. I mean, they actually probably could have killed me this turn if they if they literally didn't focus all their energy on both Nyssa and my land. So, you know, that's cool. Okay. I would love to draw another black source so we can Chupacabra here. I mean, we can untap this, but then we don't get to attack. And I'm also... Very interested in pressuring Nissa here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. Regrowth. Hmm. Uh, we didn't sack the food because they have Rampaging Frosted on out. So we cannot gain life. Thank you. Jews and Junior, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Man, I do wish I had one more mana here. <laughs> Get that guy out of here. Um... I mean, our board's pretty good against this, this Chandra. We have four total mana here. Oh, 
Oh, you know what would have been a, actually, you know what would have been a better play? Uh Golos. One, two, three, four, five. Golos. One, two, get uh Bayou, untap the Bayou, add the two more to kill it. <sighs> that might that might cost us something. What are we regrowthing here? Probably Leovold. I mean, Leovold just seems good, so. And we'll go up to 10. I mean, they have zero cards. We have a, a pretty stacked hand, so. Uh, Monastery Swift Spear. I mean, this is actually a great draw because you can cast it and equip it. I mean, I'm definitely blocking with Choops. <laughs> have you ever put tape on a cat's back? So they're going to have to pump it, which means they only... Oh, they didn't attack. Oh, that's... Oh, that's no good. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. And good old boys are drinking acidic slime, singing this will be the day that I die. Yeah, they gotta give it plus two, plus zero. Plus two, plus two, rather. I don't know why I said plus two, plus zero. All right, so Chandra, have we cast Corsa yet? No, we haven't had, we haven't even drawn that beautiful boy. One, two, three, four. I think we're just playing League of Old here. And next time we can Golos in the Time Twister, which is pretty bananas. Yeah, I don't care about this anymore. And Chandra's gonna have a have a hard time. They walk really, yeah, because it probably feels like there's something they can't get away from. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. I think we're just kind of Golos into um, like a Bayou here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Golosio. Uh, let's get Blooming Marsh, I guess. We don't even have a Bayou. And an overgrown tomb is in the trash. Skid Island here. I 
God, if they have removal spell for Leovold right now, it's the actual worst. And they always do. They didn't. They did not have that. Chandra, 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 Chandra. <sighs> Courser better be on the thumbnail. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. I'm going to write that down. Even if they have a spell in their hand. Okay, I was like, I don't understand, but... Okay, we just won the game. So, our deck seems sweet. I kind of like Thrag Tusk here. Like, I know they're just a blue red deck, but it seems like Thrag Tusk is still fine. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what those lyrics are, but it feels like they're to something. Oh god, I think I'm just gonna submit like this. Actually, we're really in Trigon Predator. Take out the Nissa. Nissa's cute, but she just a two two right now. Okay, I mean, like this this hand is great. It leaves us open for channel. Oh, what up, Big Lou? I hope you can climb up the luckiest MTG streamer ranks this year. You finished 2020 dead last. God damn. Big Lou has no chill. Well, I am a piece of shit. So, good times, good times. Okay, okay. I got you. Come at me. Channel. Stone Coil. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We're not going to do that. We're just going to play a Dryad next turn. Play a, f a second land. Gotta a movie script in writing and Courser Portrait on your wall as a power move. Thank you! Oh, Big Lou with the gifted sub. Oh my god, what a hero. What an absolute treasure of a man. Oh dear. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. I got islands for day. I got basics for days. Are you going to counter this? Oh my god. I'm like beside myself that they're going to counter this. Wow. I feel terrible. Oh, God. This old chestnut again? Dang. It's messed up. Chaos Theory, have you been drinking tonight, buddy? I feel like you're I feel like you're a little um a little more volatile than used to than, than usual, let's say. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, we have an Ulamog though. I don't know if that's any good because we it's not in the it's not in the graveyard. Do you have anything else? Look, the two cards that shuffle back into our deck are right here. I just get no, you don't have to apologize. Okay, well, this is aggressive. Wow, Manadrin's a hell of a card. They did give us a land, though, that they're going to promptly wasteland, unfortunately, but that's okay. It's not great. Uh, okay. Okay. If we can find a way to disc... Actually, this is actually decent, because we can go Gilded Goose and Trigon Predator this turn. Could have also played a 4-4 uh, a Stone Coil Serpent, but... 
This is the best Goblin Guide Mana Drain deck I've ever seen. Solid. I only have three cards. I don't have an answer to this yet. Can we get this in our graveyard? I don't know. I feel like we can still probably win with eight cards. God, who knows? Who knows? So I'm glad we didn't play Stone Cold Serpent, I guess. But uh... what are you guys trying to do? Add com? You can't add com if you're not a if you're not a mod. <laughs> How do I make? Oh, you yeah, Matt. Command and then add com. Okay, so one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a lot of damage here. I'm uh pretty dead. It's unfortunate. Oh, also Time Twister was an answer. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the next game. This was a rough one. But now there's they seem much more aggressive, so I'm gonna bring in the Thrag Tusk. Um Ophiomancer. That's pretty cool. Take out the dryad. Take out Thief of Sanity. Hunter wants to come in again. Let's go. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's automatically asleep. He out now. Um, I'm going to take out Commit's Memory and just bring in, like, Control Magic. Add com is correct, but you have to put the actual command after it. You go add exclamation mark add com exclamation mark the command. So like add com exclamation mark Matt sucks, and then you'd put what you want that command to do, right? So I could be like add com Matt sucks. Matt sucks. So now I can go command Matt sucks. And then it'll say Matt sucks. So, you know, there you go. I am a piece of shit. God damn, that doesn't need to be immortalized forever. Well, I am a piece of shit. So, that was, that was a solid clip, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at his hand. Turn to Trigon Predator. Gotty. <laughs> God. Okay, okay. Okay, that's good. Always a pleasure, Firebolt. <laughs> I like this guy when we got a Trigon Predator. I also like hitting a fourth land here. Hopefully we hit a fifth land. Yeah, a lot of the clips got deleted somehow, and it's really disappointing, but... What can you do?
I will not block, as you can imagine. Well, they don't have mana drain mana up, so that's good. Don't be a Jitte, though. Oh, okay. Why don't I care about you at all? Be a land on top of my deck. It was. It was a very good land as well. So next time we can just get to Thrag Tusk and get at least one land into play? Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, still no still no mana drain. Okay, so basically they have a removal spell for every single card I play. That's unfortunate, but uh, that's life, I guess. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. Doot. Doot, 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 doot. Actually, maybe it's Acidic Slime killing their Spire Bluff Canal. Let's do that. Could have also killed their Legionnaire, but I don't think I care about that nearly as much. Wow, they literally just have a bunch of burn spells that they're using on my... Not... Oh, fuck! Are you serious? <sighs> That's actual terrible. <laughs> That's so bad, dude. Of course they draw Rampaging Frost on the turn we choose to play Acidic Slime instead. Come on. <sighs> That's terrible. Wow, that's likely going to cost us the game. Uh, I don't think Elk Tears was the cat tape guy. I think that was Chaos Theory. Yeah, unfortunately, we just have to take another point here. Get a forest. Regrowth. Slimy. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Man, I'm really regretting not playing the Ragtusk. I did not think their last card would be Rampaging Ferocidon. If they hit land, they can also Firebolt this guy, attack us for five, put us to three. Chupacabra might be one of our best draws here. Yep, there's land. Cool. Yep, so we go to three. We go to two after we play the Chupacabra that we don't actually even have right now. Ophiomancer actually puts us to one. It's <laughs> hilarious. Wow, I'm actually fucking flabbergasted we lost this game. This deck is actual terrible. <laughs> it's not good. It's literally just a bunch of burn spells on like my worst creatures, and like I just. Ugh, God. It's just infuriating. They have a one-turn window to cast Ferocidon, and it has to be the last card in their hand. Cool. 
I don't know, that's super infuriating. Meanwhile, we have like multiple two fours in our deck that they could just they they likely I guess they, they have flame slash I guess but and then the previous game they win with like sort of body and mind only have both blight steel and ulamog in hand it's like okay yeah we'll try this i mean i guess they won because they dealt us uh 20 points of damage but we do have the courser in hand kenny son with the gifted subs thank you so much really appreciate it oh man 10 gifted subs what a hero what an absolute Thank hero. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. Oh, I like a botanical sanctum. This also lets us play channel on turn. Well, Thank you. on turn two if we hit it. We did, we did not hit it. But we did hit the other, Thank you. the other one of these, which is great. It's got to be Leovold, right? And then and then Oko? Or, no. It's one of these Thank two, you. and then Corsair, but I don't know which one. Oh, if they're just going to tap out, this is great. Oh, yeah, this is great. Thank you! Oh, yeah. Give me some. Thank you so much. Thank really, really you. appreciate it. Thank you! Target artifact becomes Thank a you. piece of junk. I have a sickness for the thickness. <laughs> you got it. I mean, turning someone's coalition relic off is pretty big game. Oh, also, we got Corsair of Crucifix, so. Yeah, you got it. Oh, look, they got Cryptic Command Mana? Oh, no, they don't. JK. Okay. Um. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Boy. Let us create a food token. Thank you. We are Toxin. Thank you for the gifted sub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Wait, not welcome back. That's not what you say when a sub is gifted. That is one gifted sub. Here comes a Faith Sfetters on our Courser of Crew fix. Oh, they did have Cryptic Command. Huh. What was the other mode? Cryptic Command Targeting Courser, return to hand. Draws a card, okay. Three, two, one, you got it. That's fine. I mean, we have Regrowth, so it's okay. I think we're just playing Courser Regrowth in the... Oko no Joko. Of course I remember to play the audio. Look at this big old booty. Horse booty. Horse booty. Corsar got a booty like it was designed by Pixar Animation Studios. God damn. So one, two, three. Is this guy coming down? No. What is this you're doing? 
Oh, hard cast that guy. All right. Well, so uh, sure. Seems good. Pixar Animation Studios. I'm just going to pass here. Choops gets rid of Coalition Relic. Like the Dickens. What audio was that? That was Anthony Fantano. Okay, signet into some kind of nonsense, sure. So we know they have a remand on top. That's good to know. We're drawing Choopy. Oh, they didn't even. Oh, they didn't. I was like, they didn't even attack. Yeah, this is a pretty easy block here. Of course, we got a butt like two couch cushions. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear lord. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can like, we can commit to memory this, but they draw remand. So, you know, that's cool. I think it's still correct. Or we can just commit our own courser. Which I kind of like that better. We know they're drawing remand. Yeah, this seems better. It gets around them. But I don't want them to draw control magic again, so. Only seven mana, huh? We got Leovold in the trash can, unfortunately. I don't think we have a great way to get Leovold back. Not now that our um, regrowth is gone. Who's naked out the streets? All right, so you have one card in the remand you drew, so. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <coughs> That's totally fine. Uh, let's block. Okay, so your only card is a remand right now. I think we're actually going to crack a food here. No, we're not. We're going to draw Oko eventually. And those are just future... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hmm. I don't want them to draw a million cards, I'll be honest. You're gonna remand this guy? Good deal. Still gonna kill your stupid little spirit. See, that's a good one. Especially when the Oko coming up. And a Courser coming up. Oh, Thief of Sanity coming up. Interesting. 
b b b block So we have nine mana right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Boy, these top decks are great. Glenelendra Archmage into Urza. Seems good. So now we're going to draw Thief. See Oko underneath. It's your boy. Do you think they're going to activate Urza? No. Okay. Just checking. Well, that construct being a 3-3 three, three is obnoxious, but we do get to... Well, they got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They could actually activate it once, and if they hit a land or an artifact, they gets activated again. Yeah. I doubt they're going to want to, because they have Glenelindra up, and they're not going to probably want to put the shields down when we have an Oko in hand, but... Oh, okay, just a fractured identity. Seems good. So their top decks have been Glenelinger, Archmage, Urza into fractured identity. Totally reasonable and not at all phenomenal. I mean, we still are very close to... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana if we hit a land. Well, that is kind of like a land. Um, I mean, I think we just cast Oko here. We're not going to be able to play around this forever. Plus, it it's one less damage a turn. Sure. Yep, you got it. Yeah. Oh, actually, they're going to get to hit that Sakura Tribe Elder, I guess. That's unfortunate. Well, let's see what your next fantastic top deck is. Oh, it's an Urza activation. An island? Sure. <laughs> yep. Guess we're getting hit. Sakura Tri Builder and two other cards. Oh. You didn't take a Golos or a Sakura Tri Builder, but we get a Demonic Tutor? Well, that's pretty cool, because they're probably going to go get Channel. And then they're going to counter everything. Did they take Ponder over Golos? What? That's weird. Especially because you have literal all the colors except for black. So... I don't know what's going on. Acidic slime, huh? Well... <laughs> let's there we go okay well I got rid of that one two three four five six I'm almost tempted to commit some memory here they do get force of will cryptic command and remand and fractured identity back in their deck which is pretty rough Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're two lands away from this. 
God, being able to hit an Oko and a Demonic Tutor with your Glenland or Archmage is pretty good. How do geese make food? They literally lay eggs. How does anything make food? Yeah, we're just going to pass here. I just don't think we're in a better position if we commit to memory here. Because they get to untap first. They get to keep up two mana, which is more than enough for remand and force of will. So they have the potential to draw at least two counter spells that could wreck our turn. Oh, God. You got it. Their deck seems very unfun. It's like obnoxious blue-white Cheons. Uh, sure. Create a food token. You got it. Mox Pearl. Seems good. Uh, we're definitely not scooping here. They have two cards in hand. What do they hit here? Corsair of Crucifix? Yeah, sure. And we also don't even know what we're drawing next turn. Because they're going to, like, mill us for three, obviously. We know Acidic Slime was up there. So they took the Acidic Slime? Okay, they can't cast it here. <laughs> and this is why we don't scoop to save time. Uh, one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Um, Urza's cool and all. But I think Thief of Sanity is a bigger issue. So they have one card in hand. They can activate Urza twice. <laughs> yeah, it turns out we should have got rid of Urza. All right. Punished. That sounds good. What can you do? It's really obnoxious, but... And there's our own acidic slime. Sure, one, two, crack one of these. So good. And now we actually don't have a second blue for this. So that is unfortunate. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, I think it should have been Urza because Urza gives them a lot more outs. Uh, Thief of Sanity, we can easily just block with the goose, but. I mean, they would have drawn, they would have sacked four things. So, I mean, it's not. Oh, yeah, Goose does give a second blue. Uh, that's right. I'm just, like, not... I mean, it's very tilting, but... I 
chaos there. Have a good night, buddy. So what, five, six, seven, eight? All right. Well. Second from the top, right? Sure. Oh, man. They don't seem to have a ton of removal, so like it's unfortunate they got rid of our Leovold so early. Yep, let's go block here, block here. And eat a food. I'm pretty sure we're drawing Ulamog here, unless I'm not sure how that works. There he is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still two mana away, so we actually have no choice. One, two, three, four. Hmm. What can we demonic tutor for? <laughs> Leave old in hand post. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, Yeah, nothing really. All right. Trigon Predator seems great here. So does Casualties of War, actually. Um, hmm. what to take out though is the question. Dryad can probably come out. We have Corsair and Oracle, and I'll just play forty-one. Channel. Um, I will keep this hand. If we draw a channel or a blue source, I think it's got a lot going for it. We can also top deck a goose, and yeah, it's a little late, but it's still probably fine. Simic Signet works. Sakura Tribe Elder. Okay. Seems good. Seems less good. Okay, well, looks like we're leaning towards a 1 2 here, unfortunately. Wow, turn 2 Urza. Fucking fantastic. Oh, boy. I almost sent a good channel here. Could also get Ravenous Chupacabra and kill the Urza. Casualties of War is nice. We can go Creature, Artifact, Land. But, like, it's six mana. Like, Channel just lets us play Blightsteel and it forces them to have an answer, but unfortunately they have a lot of answers. They have Commit to Memory, Cryptic Command to bounce it. Yeah, I don't think we can go all in on... If they had less... If they had fewer lands, I would... I would think it's pretty good, but I think I just want... I think I just want Ravenous Chupacabra here. I think getting hers off the board or trying to is the best we can hope for even though they now have cryptic command mana so i'm sure they're going to cryptic command this and handily win this game and cryptic command 
Oh, they're just force of willing it. Sounds good. Oh, they're just committing it to memory. Okay. Yeah, that's frustrating. Yeah, I feel like both of these games we probably should not have lost, but both of, both of these matches, but... Yep. See, I don't even want to go search with Nissa because then we just actually don't get the Ravenous Chupacabra next turn. And of course we draw a blue card. I mean, we could have potentially mulliganed, but I, I think this hand is fine, presuming we draw one blue source, which we did not. I mean, this is also getting countered, and then they're just going to attack us for four, attack us for four, so. Yep, they're just choosing their cryptic command modes here. Or they're just going to hard, they're just going to hard, yeah, okay, amazing. <laughs> yep, so that's probably the end. I can't imagine a situation, like, unless we draw a blue source, we get to commit to memory of this and it resolves. But either way, Kyers, this deck was super sweet, despite the fact that uh, our opponents... Uh, either draw all their counter spells or all their burn spells but um <sighs> yeah all right thanks for watching guys really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons be sure to check out twitch.tv slash frank if you want to support the channel and uh i'll see you next time thanks a lot really appreciate it guys